So now we're gonna put this adapter kit on. This is to fit the uh, arrow bars. I have the square bars and that's what these are for. And these are to fit the um, arrow bars. So I gotta take, that was really easy. I just gotta take this stuff off real quick. It's funny cause I do, I'm doing like a how to install a roof rack video but I actually don't know how to install one. So I'm like learning as I go. And the first one's always really like, uh, and then the second one's good. Actually, I think this part has to come out. Now we gotta look at the directions for this to see what, uh, see what we need. This, maybe I just use the ones that I already had. Why are those different? What is going on here? I am better than all you children. Well, that's very harsh. Yeah, I'm doing a how-to, but I actually don't know how to do this. So I'm thinking that this goes in here. Yeah, it looks like that's how the front part of that attaches. This. Okay, in general, just Oh, your skate tools I don't know exactly where this goes, but we're just gonna, I'm pretty sure that's where we had it, it was like right here. This will be the driver's side, and this one works well. Passenger side is the broken one. Yep, that one's broken, so this is, all right, I put this on properly. So now that I kind of figured out how to do it, so you take these guys off, these are the original ones. You wanna save these because you gotta reuse them, so make sure you don't lose the little piece in the middle, that's the, that's the important part. So this stuff you don't need for this rack. Just take that hardware out. They've got all new hardware in that adapter kit. Because this one's broken, because I drove underneath a uh, parking garage with the uh, with the rack on, with the bike on it. So, but it still works. All right, so once you got this hardware off, there is, in this bag, a few things that you want to put on this first. Let's just strip this whole thing down. So we're going to take this out. It's going to go just like that. You don't need that anymore. Now we're going to grab our new parts. This piece. And this little piece here, and this will clamp on the bottom of this, it'll hook in like that, snap in place. I'm going to try to keep this side on the inside of the car, so this is going to be on the passenger side, which would make this the inside, so we're going to put it in like this. So that'll be in like that. So now there are these little rubber guards, they're just, they're just to protect these. So I'm going to put my bolts on the front, so these little pads just go on. These just keep you from scratching up your really? your bars. There is another one. I'm not using these for this. Um, in the picture, it, it doesn't look like those are the ones that I'm supposed to use. So another one of these for the back. I'm gonna put the mounting hardware in the back one. So I'm gonna put this on this front one. So I'm gonna take three of these ones with the squares and the little, I'm gonna put two in this front one. And I'm gonna take my old, I don't know what these are called. It's like the lever that locks them down. Screw these guys in. This is a much cleaner setup than the bars because the bars have like a um, bracket that wraps around it and it hooks to the bars. These just go straight into the rack itself. So we're gonna do the same thing with this guy. Now we gotta do the same thing for the back. So we take our new one, we put the little got cylinder nut. So then you put this in the bottom, screw that in. So then this guy goes in the back here. So that's that. There's the other one. And in a minute I'll show you how to install them onto the new bars. All right, so now, we're gonna take these over to the car. I believe we got all our parts that we need now. Um, yeah, let's let's head over to the car. I'm just gonna set that guy there. I gotta unlock these. Now, this rubber strip on top, you're gonna have to cut it to uh, to fit with with the rack itself. Um, you'll see what I'm talking about in a second. So this rubber piece, you're gonna have to cut it to fit. So we're just gonna take it out for right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna spread this out. There's this little square piece at the bottom. We're just gonna slide that into that slot there. Same thing with the front slide. Both of these little square pieces into the arrow bar. All right, that's good. All right, now we're gonna put this piece back and lock that in place. And it, unless you need to take those racks off or you need to take the bars off, you should never have to unlock these pieces. I bought four new caps for these because I lost all of mine and these should snap in place really nice since they're new you might have to pull a little tab on them that's in there not done quite yet your bars stick forward more than you want them to which i think mine's pretty even so i'm probably going to leave it there for now if not you can loosen up this plate on here and slide the whole rack back so now what you do is you just take these levers or these little uh flaps and you just twist them and you want to move this out of the way but once you get this tightened up enough you can clamp that down. Uh, too snug. Still too snug. And it'll hold that guy in place. We'll get the other one done. 
That one's snug, so this rack isn't going anywhere. Now we gotta get the back one. And you just wanna look up the car here, up in this back, and make sure that this one is centered with the front. And that looks pretty darn straight. And then when you're done, I would just go around and make sure that all of these are tight. See if you can't get one more half turn out of them. So that's how to install the big mouth rack on the um, arrow blade bars. This is an older style rack. The newer ones will mount similar way under these same bars. And then like I said at the end, you just put your rubber stripping in here. You can lift this side up too to get it more underneath it. If you enjoyed this video, click the like button. If you have any other questions about this rack or any other Thule product, comment that below. Coming to Alpine Cycles and I'll, uh, I'll help you figure out which roof rack's best for your car and, uh, and for your bike. So thanks for watching. See you next time. Oh,